Hi everybody, this is Jeanette from Boricua Sewing in Class. Um, I had did a video a while back on a steam guide that I had purchased off of Amazon. One of the things that I really liked about this is I'm not a great person when it comes to sewing straight lines, okay? I mean, usually when I'm sewing, I kind of like sometimes gear to the right, then gear to the left, and my straight line is not exactly as awesome as it should be. Um, so one of the things that I had did to correct that was I bought this steam guide that helps. Now I really do love it because it's magnetic and one of the things that you do is you just place it to where you want it on your machine and then when you are sewing, right, what you can do is you just, the edge of the, the fabric is on the edge of this um, seam right here, right? So let me fold this and let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So you can see it's right next to the edge. And um, and I'm going to start sewing right now. Mellow, stop. And as you can see, Mellow's back. Um, and I'm gonna start sewing straight. And I'm gonna stop it. And as you can see, it's really nice. Perfectly, perfectly straight, right? So, of course, I always use this when I need to do straight lines. But there are other things out there that I discovered to help you sew straight lines. And let me show you what it is. There are two other feet that you can get. And I just got discovered these on Amazon. There's two of them. One is a foot like this that has a guide on it. And I thought this was pretty neat because, you know, sometimes... You know, this can get, you know, I mean, it can't really do any. I mean, I have to admit, I like this and I don't find anything wrong with it. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I really like that it's very, very strong and it goes right against the plate. So it's not going to move or anything. Um, it is a little hard sometimes to take it off. I have to slide it off because the magnet is very strong. But if you think about it, that's what you want. You want the magnet to be very strong. So that way this doesn't slide. Okay. So, you know, this is an option that you have, and I'll make sure I link all this stuff that I have below so that you can try to get the, the seam guide or the foot that's right for you. Um, this is the other one that I got. It has like, it's a little plastic. It works great on this machine. Um, I'm gonna take off my J foot, and all you do is you just add this to your machine. Just like you do the, the regular foot. There you go. And of course, this has a grid. So what you would do is when you're sewing, and I'll just sew this way, is, you know, you place your um, fabric to one of the lines on the grid. And then you just sew straight on as you make sure that your fabric is on there. Okay, so let's see how this works. And this does not work that good. All right, hold on. Okay. This is the first time I'm trying this. So let me screw this up. Uh oh. Okay, I'm going to. Safety device has been put in. Okay, it didn't mess up my needle, but now, now we know. Okay, so look. What I would need to do is I would need to move the needle to the middle. And let me go straight and this does not work at all this doesn't work on the um and you know why it doesn't work oh my goodness you guys won't believe it i put it on upside down no wonder it didn't work of course it's not gonna work okay so of course the feet goes facing me I'm not going to edit this video, okay? Because chances are somebody out there is going to say the same mistake that I made. So now you know. If you get this, this is what it is. The feet go this way. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, let me move, let me put this down. Oh, and I'm over here thinking maybe I got to make some adjustments to the machine. Okay. So let's see. Let's let's try this one out, okay? I these these are new. This is this is a new foot and this is a new foot. Literally just got it and I'm just trying it out and I figure while I'm trying it out, I'll put it on the video. 
All right, so I got this down. And all right, let's give it another shot. Let's see what happens. It's very easy because I, I like that you get to see the fabric underneath. And, uh, okay, it's, it's, a, it's the, the line is straight. It is straight, but this is the thing that I noticed with this foot, okay? If you're really good at making sure that it's aligned, and I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try this again. I'm going to try to do it and align it right with this red line that I have right here. Let's see how it goes. Because, see, the thing is, you're not, you're not leaning the fabric on anything. What you're doing is you, oh yeah, it works, it's straight, it is straight, it's straight. The thing is, okay, this is the only thing with this, okay? This is the difference. With this, okay, you have this on the plate. And when you are sewing, you are sewing the edge of the fabric right on the edge of this plate right here. When you are using this one, okay, this foot, what you're doing is you're aligning the fabric with any of these red grooves, or you can use a little clear, clear. And you just have to make sure that as you're pushing the fabric through the machine, that the edge of the fabric is very well aligned with the line that is on the, um, on the guide, okay? So, you know, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad, okay? You know, um, it did, you know, it, it, mistake number one, I put it in wrong, okay? Put it in upside down because I was looking at it through, through these ways. No, the feet go that way, just like the, the J, okay? Um, that was a, a boo-boo on my part, and that's why it hit the plate because this is not clear. Um, but as you can see, it sold very well. It worked with the machine and, you know, it gives you a clear view so that way you can just sew your, your line, okay? Now, here's another one that I got. So, we got these two, okay? We got the one with the plastic guide and then we have the, the sewing guide that's metal that, that has the magnet. This is another one that I saw and I purchased this. This seems to be, in my opinion, kind of like the same of both of these okay it has the little tab over here okay so that way the the fabric can lean against this okay which is cool and then it has the guides also right so i'm kind of like all right so in a way it's kind of like two of these in this now the only thing this is not magnetic this is something that you put on the foot so this one I know I'm going to put in right. <laughs> so I'm going to put this in right. And, um, okay, and I'm going to adjust to put it, like, right here, right right snug against the thing. And um, let's see. Let's see how this works. I got to admit I like this one. Oh, this is nice. I like this, okay? This is the second line right here. You know why I like this? I'm going to be honest. I like it because it's right on the foot, okay, of the sewing. And I really love having this plastic here because if you saw when I put it in, it, it is like real snug on the thing. I hope you can see everything that I'm doing. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, I think you can. Um, let me try to lower this so that you can see exactly this one because I really like this um uh, this foot. I really like the way this foot um worked. Let me try to make it so that you guys can see it. I should have uh, made this a little wider as we tested every single one of them. There we go. Okay. Now. Um, let me do this again on the other side so you guys can see. I mean, I really seem to like this one because it's, it's, the foot attaches and like you said, this, this, um, adjusts 
Okay, so I'm just putting it all the way close. Okay, and um, let me just take another piece of fabric. Okay, we can play with all these again. Um, sorry, kick the camera by mistake. All right, I'm just going to do it this way. And see how see how nicely flush it, it gets to the, the thing? I mean, wow. I really like this foot. Wow, nice and straight. Look at that. That's really nice. This is my favorite, guys. I'm going to be honest. This is my favorite. I love this foot with the little plastic tab. Um, I think it, it works wonders. I think this is really, really cool. Um, now, now that I have close-ups and everything, let's do this one again. This is the one with the um, guide, okay? And so that you can see, I'm going to do it this way now. I'm going to fold it this way. Um... And you can like, uh, you know, I'll use this, uh, the clear line here. I'm going to use, there's a clear line that's right there next to that. I'm going to use that as my guide. And this works too. This works too. You know, the hard part about dry, uh, uh, doing a straight line is not looking at the needle and looking at the, the ruler. Okay. So as you can see, it looks a little closer than it looks like I got a little wider and stuff. But um, I don't know. I really, I'm, I'm feeling this one, guys. I really am. I'm feeling this one. This one seems a, a lot better than this one. I think I'm going to keep all three um, for the heck of it, you know. This one's uh, the first one that I purchased. Love this one, too. I love the fact that it's metal. I mean, you know, it's metal. So this is going to last, like, forever. Um, it, it came like five in a pack and I gave one of my sister and stuff. And I really like this one because it's like, um, you know, it, it's very similar to, to the one, very similar to this one. Okay. Because you just, you know, have the fabric go against the metal, you know? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> it's my J. Let's get my J's. Yeah, I, I mess up too. Okay. There we go. See, and I, I got there, and then I'm just going to... See, for some reason, I just feel that when you have... When you have um, the fabric going against something, I feel like the chances of me personally making a straighter stitch happens. So, anyway. So, anyway, guys, this video, I just wanted to show you three things that you can use to help you, um, you know, sew a straight stitch. Because like I said, I, on the other hand, don't have that, that steady hand, you know, and um, sometimes it causes, you know, it, it, making a straight stitch, especially a long one, can be a little challenge. So hope you like, guys like this video and give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Um, I do a lot of videos on the uh, Brother SC 1900, and I'm also going to be exploring other things like such um, the Cricut, and I'm also going to put some videos on the Brother PR 670E multi needle embroidery machine. So hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up, and have a great day. Happy sewing and embroidering. Bye.